walk like this, talk like this, look like this, you could never uh-uh. Bad red bone from the south, round round, hitting licks with a yellow huh. Bitch so bad when I walk past, nigga sing my name, a cappella huh. uh, So as you guys can see by the title below, I will be giving you guys an update on my iPhone Letting you guys know what happened, things like that Sorry you guys, I'm not showing my face, I'm a little sick right now So hope you guys definitely can understand but you guys was asking me for an update about what happened. So that's what I'm going to be doing for you guys today. So right now I have um, the Galaxy S9 Plus and also the Max. This is actually a new Max and I will tell you guys all about that in just a second. So if you guys haven't seen my iPhone rant video I went on last week, I was having so many problems with my phone. And come to find out, when I finally was able to get back on social media, I saw that it wasn't just me and my kids. If you guys are new to my channel, I do have the iPhone S, X Max, 10X Max, whatever. And my kids have the XRs. I did a whole video showing you guys our phones was not able to text, call, um, FaceTime, download apps or none of that stuff last week. We was on the phone with Apple for about three hours. They still wasn't able to fix it. We went through everything, everything, you guys, and it just would not work. So I went to Apple the next day, and I also went to T-Mobile. So when I went to T-Mobile, my purpose of going to T-Mobile was to get a Galaxy phone. I went to get the Galaxy S10 Plus. I was impressed, but not that impressed. Um, and then I also saw the OnePlus Pro 7 or something, I believe it's called. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to go back and get that phone just to have, you know, as a backup phone for business. Because you guys know I do use my phone for, for business. And so I was losing a lot of money, you know, when my phone wasn't working. Even though you guys know I do have the Galaxy S9 Plus. But I only use that phone um, on Wi-Fi. So, yeah. So that's why I said I may go back and get it. Uh, so I wanted to just show you guys what Apple ended up doing for me and I do appreciate Apple for stepping up and taking full responsibilities because they have been putting out shitty ass phones lately and the updates have been very shitty as well um and if you go back and watch that video you guys I'm I was so surprised that I was not the only one that was having this problem like all the comments was like I'm having this problem sometimes I was like wow that's crazy so this is the new replacement phone. So I'll give you guys an update real quickly. Um, I went to T-Mobile. I told them I was having a problem with my phone. I had talked to Apple, blah, blah, blah. They was like, okay, well, you do have, you still have a warranty and you do have insurance. You know, if anything happens to your phone, you can replace it for $99. Um, you know, stuff like that. If your screen was broken and stuff like that, it'd be $29 to take it to Apple. But I didn't have any of those problems. So they was like, just take it to Apple. Um, Da, da, da. So I went to Apple and it was so packed in there that day and um, they actually gave me a replacement phone. So I have been using my old, old, old iPhone 6 and this is going to be my first time setting my phone up today and everything like that. Um, today is Monday. So I've been using my old iPhone 6 for about a week now. Um, because i just been so busy, I didn't even have time to set it up and stuff like that. And I've been back and forth in and out of the hospital, but I'm sure you guys saw that on my Snapchat. Thank you guys so much for all your prayers and good um, uh, supportive messages. And you guys know I love you guys so much as well. So I want to go ahead and set my phone up. I do want to use my phone today, finally. So I am going to put my case on my phone. This is the case I had on my phone before they got my other phone. And I'm going to be using my screen protector. This is not sponsored by this company or anything like that. But I have to put a temper glass on my phone anytime I get a new phone. So this is the phone. I'm not going to do an unboxing and all that stuff. You guys know how, you know, the stuff come packaged and stuff like that. So, of course, this is all I'm not trying to make. You guys know all this by now. So, yes, this is the phone. Like I said, they did just give me a gold one. Now, usually when you go to Apple, they never give you really the phone out of the box. It's honestly, when they replace your phone, they usually um, give it to you in plastic. But because um, I have 
now I have the 500 gigabyte one. Um, they have to give me a brand new one because they did not have any um, of the ones in the back like they usually do when you go in. So they don't give me a brand new one. So I'm happy about that. Um, so this is the phone. I do want to go ahead and set it up. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just turn it on. And I'm going to set it up with you guys. As I'm setting up my phone, I am going to... Is it even charged? Because they give me a phone that's not even fucking charged. Like, is it even charged? Okay. Hopefully it's charged because I don't want to have to refilm this. So I'm going to go ahead and set this phone up and just tell you guys my experience with having my um, iPhone Max. I think this is probably my fourth or fifth iPhone Max. Um, one thing I will say, you guys, I do not recommend getting the phones as soon as they come out. Because I feel like the first batch of phones are always the worst. That is what I have learned throughout um, my time with getting iPhones. Um, I'm just going to set it up manually. I do not know our password. J equals five. I think I know it. I may know it. Um, J Q F C D eight U F nine. This may not even be right. It's not going to be right. Is it right? If this is right, bitch. Okay, bitch. Okay. Next. Um, what they did tell me at Apple this time around, since they did um, give me a brand new phone, that I needed to just sign in as, as, as though this was a brand new um, phone. So I'm not going to go to bag up anything from iTunes. I'm not going to go sign in to bank up anything from iCloud i'm just going to go ahead and just set it up as brand new data and privacy continue i'm going to put my face id in right quick which i do still love my face id but i want to know in the comments down below have you guys been having any more problems with your iphone hopefully um when the galaxy um notes 10 come out i'm sure i'm going to get that one and i'm sure when the iphone 11 come out i'm probably going to get that one definitely not sure if i'm going to go ahead and get it as soon as it comes out because apple do really be um having it set up where you want to get a new phone right here as you guys can see it says restore you guys probably can't even see that um uh, restore from icloud backup not going to do that restore from itunes backup not going to do that I'm just going to be really happy at this point, you guys, if this phone is going to allow me to download apps, um, because even though I was using this six, um, and thank God I just kept it in my drawer. Like I just used to have that phone just in my drawer, but I'm just going to sign in. I'm not bagging up anything. Okay. So terms and conditions yes i'm just gonna run through this because i am going to put my temper glass on here this brand is a really good brand like i said this is not sponsored or anything like that i just love how easy their setup is and i'll show you guys how easy it is to set up your temper glass if you want to install one since i'm already doing this video so it's setting up my apple id hopefully it can move a little quicker but let me know if you guys have been having any problems with your iPhones or even your Androids. You guys know I'm not Team iPhone or Team Apple. What the fuck? Team iPhone or Apple? Same thing. Team iPhone or Team Android. I'm Team both because, like I said, I have both um, phones. I never let them install my shit. I always like to install it, um, install my updates manually because sometimes when an update comes out, I do not like to go ahead and use the update. Um, and put it on my phone. I'll set all this shit up later. Um, later, later, later. Um, I like the bigger feature only because my phone is big. 
If I had the small one with like the XR, I'd probably just use standard. I'm gonna click next and just go home, switch out. You guys know I know how to use this phone already. So the fact that this phone is, let me put my face on the end so you guys can't see the code. So let's see. So I don't know what the fuck is going on. At first say unable to, what does it mean unable to download? Okay, so now I guess with this new phone, it's automatically just uploading, focus, it's uploading um, the apps on the iPhone when you first get it, which it never happens to me that way. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to download some apps on my phone and just see because you guys know I couldn't download any apps. That was the problem last time. So what I'm going to do is just try to download a few and see. Hopefully this fixed the problem. Um, so I'm just gonna try to download a few and just see if it's gonna let me. Because I couldn't download shit. So let's just see if it's gonna let me download a few. And as you guys can see already, it is letting me download some apps, thank God. Because I could not download any apps with my other phone. So since we have that all set up and stuff like that, I am going to go ahead and show you guys how I install my temper glasses. Because you guys are always asking me what is the best temper glass to purchase. Now, I think I got this. I will link these below, you guys. Usually, I were... Usually I would go to the mall and let them install it. It's like 50 bucks. But normally when I get temper glasses for cheap, they're not good. They pop off real quickly. They don't really stay down. But this brand, like I said, this video is not sponsored. This brand is a really good brand. And the reason I say that is because you get a four pack in here. And when you open it up, it comes with all the material you need. And it comes with this. This right here is a lifesaver. Let me see if I can brighten it for you guys. Uh, let's see. This right here is a lifesaver. This right here, if you purchase a temper glass and you do not get this right here, throw the whole temper glass away because this is what's going to make your temper glass go in there perfectly right here. And so you get all the installation stuff that you need, which I'll show you guys real quickly. And then I'm going to go ahead and just take this one out of here. And like I said, you do get four. And it shows you in here how to set it up and stuff like that. Really, really easy. I have used one before, which was on my other phone. But of course, when you go to Apple and you give them their their phone, they take the temper glass with them, of course. I wouldn't want it anyway, because by the time they take it off and try to put it on the new phone, it's going to have dust and shit on it. So when they took my phone, they just kept the temper glass on it and put it in a little box and they took it in the back. So I'm going to try to set this up with you guys since I need a temper glass on my phone. Hope you guys do not mind me um, setting this up with you guys. But I know y'all don't care because y'all love me and I fuck with y'all too. So yeah. So what I'm going to do is take out my dust absorber and also the screen protector LCD screen cleaning cloth. I'm gonna put the temper glass over there. This is the machine, not the machine, what the fuck, this is the tool that you will need. I'm gonna go ahead and move my box out of the way. I'm so excited that I got a brand new charger. Um, I'll just do it like this so it can sit in the inside like that. It has so much dust on it just from being out right now. So this is what you wanna do, you wanna use this. And just want to wipe it off. Actually, I'm going to have to do this in my hand. Because I want to make sure it's good and clean. And I'm so excited my phone is finally working. Um, let me know if you guys had to go to Apple to get your phone replaced. What happened when you went there? Did your phone um, do everything by itself when you were trying to... Um, contact Apple um, because even though I was on the phone with Apple for three hours 
and they was trying to run me through the steps. It still didn't work. And when I took the phone to Apple, honestly, you guys, they was telling me that my phone was just um, messed up. Um, and they honestly replaced all three of my phones because I took my phone and my kid's phone, of course. And they said that um, they will replace them all. So they replaced all of our phones. So I'm happy about that. I'm going to use the dust absorber to get off anything that was left behind. I wish you guys could see me doing this, but this is so, it's hard to do behind the camera. So this is basically what I'm doing. Anywhere I see dust, that's all I'm doing, you guys. And I'm probably going to miss something, which I hope I don't, because I do not want to just waste my temper glass. And temper glasses are a really good investment. I think for all four of these, I got these off eBay for probably $10. If you guys are interested in this, I will link it down below. Like I said, this is not a collab with this company or anything. I'm just doing this process with you guys since I'm already about to set my new phone up. Um... So I'm so excited. Well, I almost dropped it. So hopefully I have got everything off. Oh, I see some dust. It's so hard to do behind this camera. You know what? We just gonna roll with this. Cause at this point, I feel like I just keep seeing dust. And then I'm in here in my fuming room with all this fur. So it's like fur all over the phone. I don't even know if you guys can see that or not. Probably not. So, oh, excuse me, this is what I'm gonna do. You take this device and just stick it on the device like so, okay? And then you're just gonna take the temper glass. And of course, if you guys have put the temper glass on it, if you guys have never heard of a temper glass, just in case you guys are hiding in a rock somewhere, this is what a temper glass look like. A temper glass is basically a piece of glass the same size as your screen and you put it on your phone it's going to protect the glass on your phone so if you do drop your device it's going to crack the screen and it's not going to crack your phone so oh i see some dust i see a piece of dust uh, oh okay so all you have to do it looks like there's dust on here, to be honest. So I'm just going to take the glass and just stick it right there. And it goes on perfectly. And you just lay it there. And it just does the work for you. As you guys can see, and you can kind of press it out on the sides, at the bottom, and it's on here perfectly. Like, it's on here perfectly. There is no dust or anything, and then once you're done, you just take it off, and usually I just go with the sides. And that's pretty much it. And then as you guys can see, some of my apps were able to download. Super, super, super excited about that. And then of course, this is my phone. Always put, I mean my phone case. Always protect your phone with a temper glass and a, um, so, I'm good to go, you guys. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. Finally, I have my phone. It works. I'm about to go in here and download all the rest of my apps. This is just an update because you guys wanted me to do an update. 
started this video it was kind of boring but you guys asked me for it i will be coming back with more videos you guys also this is my phone case if you guys want to purchase this phone case, just DM me on Instagram. It's so freaking gorgeous. It has the Sarasi crystals. It's like a Louis Vuitton inspired phone case. I will be doing an updated case collection for you guys really soon. Thumbs this video up if you guys want my daughter to do a what's on her iPhone video. And once this video gets to maybe a thousand likes, I'll make it really, really easy for you guys. I will let her come back and do what's on her iPhone. But yeah, I'm so excited. All my apps are downloading and I'm just ready to set my phone up and get started. This video is going up today, which is Monday. So I literally waited like a whole week to set my phone up because I've been so busy and I've been sick. So thank you guys so, so much for watching this video. Like I said, I'm sorry this video has been kind of long and kind of boring, but I wanted to give you guys an update. So yes, I did not get an Android device, but I'm probably going to go back and get the, um, what's it called? The 7, the iPhone. I think it's called, no, it's not the iPhone. What the fuck? It's called the OnePlus, I think. I don't know. If I do an unboxing and stuff like that, you guys will see. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Snapchat. And Instagram, they get first dibs on everything. And don't forget to leave all your video requests and comments down below. Love you guys so, so much. And until next time, you guys. Bye. I had to hop off the porch and go get it. I went to pick up the torch and then lit it. They tried to tell me I can't, but I did it. When I pull up, bitches look like they shit it. I had to start from the motherfucking